hello everyone thank you for joining my tutorials today we'll learn how we can able to do merge explode and planarize here here if you'll see this is the watershed which we have prepared from the this srtm dem data set if you know how to prepare the watershed you can go and visit our previous videos in my channel there is vikas gadamode channel is there in that channel you will able to see this the rjs lesson number three that is a creation of slope aspect and also i have shown how to prepare the watershed so from that you can able to prepare this kind of watershed here so after preparing a watershed we need to do morphometric analysis actually how many first order in my area how many second order in my area so that i want to calculate so to calculate that what we need actually <clears throat> we need to uh, we need one basin okay from that one basin we require the streams and from that we can able to calculate the morphometric analysis so i have this uh, actually i have prepared this okay this i have the watershed uh, this i have the basin boundary and in that there is a drainage is there so what i will do i will export this so means i will export this basin how to export just select this and right click data and export data and from here you can able to save your desired location so i have already exported this basin okay so i have exported this basin from this basin i want to export this streams what are the streams are coming in this that i want to uh, <clears throat> that i want to clip so just go to anal uh, art toolbox in the art toolbox there is a uh, analysis tool in the analysis tool there is an extraction so in the extraction just select the clip so here i will select this stream to feature and clip feature is this my basin okay this basin i want to clip and from that i will save this means where i want to save so i am working in the watershed folder where i will save is stream already there so i will do two here stream two just s t r e m stream two just okay <clears throat> so now we have exported the streams this i don't want so i can remove this now okay so i have this basin and with that i have the streams and now i want to see how many fifth order in my area how many first order in my area like first second third how many orders are in my area so if you'll go here and if you'll check the properties and <clears throat> labels actually in symbology categories i'll select a grid code apply and okay so if you'll see the attribute table of this the grid code is means having a my stream order first order second order third order fourth order so they are, they are my grid code okay and if i'll zoom it here and i will select here and when i will uh, increase the size you will be able to see this is the fifth order in my area okay but when i'm clicking here if i'll uncheck this and you will see here these are showing me in broken part this fifth order are showing not continuously so if i'll check also here you will see if i'll go to the select by attribute then grid code equal to 5 apply so now you will see the fifth order showing me 10116 out of the 1631 it is showing me 116 fifth order but that is not the case in our actual area that means fifth order is only one but it is showing me <clears throat> 116 fifth order so when you are going to do the morphometric analysis actually that time you will face an error that your fifth order it will show the 116 fifth order it will show let i will show you the example if you'll go to the open attribute table okay so here i will calculate the morpho means how many first order second order that will do and after that what we'll going to do we'll do merge explode and planarize and then you will see the difference between both the things so like if you'll add the new field here if i'll add the stream length okay i will select a float okay so first we need to calculate the length of the stream just select right click then calculate geometry option is there from here we can able to calculate in meter kilometer so i will select a kilometer just click on okay so now we have calculated the length now we'll calculate the first order second order third order in our area so just select this grid code right click 
go to summarize in the summarize we need to select this stream length okay then select the minimum maximum average sum standard deviation variance you can save your output location desired location just click on okay and yes so now this is added here so i will close this and i will open this so now you will see the fifth order showing me 116 fourth order is lesser 90 then first order is showing uh, 820 so actually the this is the wrong uh, thing we have calculated here so after doing a merge explode planarize we'll get the exactly fifth order is one then fourth order is means first order will be higher then second order then third order then fourth order and fifth order will be the only one in the our basin but that is not the case here so what we need to do we need to do merge explore and planarize here merge explore and planarize how we'll able to do this so we'll do that so we need to <clears throat> what we need to do here now so just need to go to the uh, select this go to the attribute table open attribute table and here select by attribute okay first what we'll do we'll merge this what we'll do all the first order will merge first so select the grid code equal to get unique values select one apply so whatever the first order we have selected that will merge first okay our step is that first merge then use explode and then use planarize one. okay so to merge this we need to start our editing and in the editing we need to select this what we are working that is a stream two okay stream two we are working just click on okay so now our editor is on and now just go to editor and click on the merge so i want to merge this first order just click on okay so all the first order is now merge okay after that you will see only one order is left here only one order is left here now what we'll do we'll explode this to explore this our second step is that to explode and where we'll get the explode here is the tool explode and that will get an advanced data tool just right click and this is the advanced data tool once you click on the advanced data tool you will see this if your editor is on then only we can able to see this is activated okay to explode this explode means what separate a selected multi-part feature into individual feature so whatever the multi-part feature they have selected it will separate into individual features so for that what we need to do just need to select grid code then or grid code equal to two from first to second we want to separate okay so explode we want to do with first and second grid code just click on apply okay now first and second grid code is selected then just click on the explode so as well click on the explode you will see the <clears throat> we have did merge and explode okay after that we'll see the first order is there now it is separated after that just again select this and click on apply and then we need to click on the planarize tool this is our planarize line tool and this line tool you will see here okay planarize line split all selected line feature where they intersect and remove any overlapping line segment okay overlapping line segment they will uh, overlapping line segments are there it will remove so just click on the planarize tool and just click on ok <clears throat> so now these things we need to repeat and repeat again ok so we have did with the first now we'll do this with the second and just remove this ok just select grid code 2 then apply so what are the grid code 2 are there that we need to select after selecting grid code, grid code to just merge this. After selecting a merge, just we need to go grid code two or grid code equal to three. Apply, then click on the explode. Again, select this, apply, and click on the planarize. <clears throat> These things we need to do with the fifth order. Just now again. Select the grid code 3, apply. Then I will merge the grid code 3. After merging the grid code 3, then or grid code equal to 
फोर एप्लाय देन एक्सप्लोर अगेन सेलेक्ट दिस एप्लाय एंड प्लैनराइज अगेन नाव ग्रीड कोड फोर एप्लाय मर्च सेलेक्ट ग्रीड कोड और ग्रीड कोड इक्वल टू फाइव एप्लाय देन अगेन क्लिक ऑन द एक्सप्लोर देन सेलेक्ट ग्रीड कोड फोर एंड फाइव देन प्लैनराइज आफ्टर दैट सेलेक्ट द फिफ्थ ग्रीड कोड click on the merge and now we did not need to do explore and planarize again now if we'll go and we'll check here so now you can able to see the fifth order previously it was showing in separate separate part it is now become a one single order if we'll check the other order also the second order or third order if i'll check the fourth order so <clears throat> these are the fourth order in my area 1 2 3 Now, if I'll click, it will show me single fourth order. Okay. Now it is a single fourth order testing. Now we'll try to do uh, morphometric analysis. That how many first order, second order, and third order in my area. So just select it. Open attribute table. Uh, we need to <clears throat> we need to again calculate the uh, length we already calculated. So just select this. Right click. Then calculate. Uh, then summarize. Okay, we have already calculated the length. Then stream length, mean, max, all that we need to select, and just click on OK. We can't create an editable mode. Okay, we need to save our edit and stop it. Okay, save it, stop it. Then we can go to. Uh, then we need to select this. Right click. then summarize minimum maximum average sum standard deviation so let it by default i will keep okay so this is the four number now we'll see the fifth order is one then fourth order is five then third order is 29 now this way if we'll compare this with this now we'll see the difference in the fifth order it was showing 116 and it is not true and fourth order showing 19 but it is not 19 it is only 5 and fourth order is only 5 here also you, you can able to check 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, <clears throat> this one is 5 so five fourth order are there this way we can able to calculate actual how many first order second order in our area then we can then we'll get the uh, Max, uh, mini, maximum stream length, minimum stream length in the area. Then we'll get the this is the average stream length. This is the sum of the stream length. So all this we'll get here. So this way we can able to prepare our first order, second order, third order using the merge, explore, and planarize tool. So <clears throat> if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you.